Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's your girl Jazz, and as I promised you guys, I'm doing a comparison review between my regular plain Jane, probably cost maybe 50 bucks, toaster versus the Revolution Instaglow R180 toaster. A $300 toaster. Um, I want to know, is it going to be better than my $50 toaster? I don't even know if it costs $50. It may cost, I know for sure it costs less than 100 because there's no way I would have spent more than that on a toaster. But we're gonna go ahead and do a comparison. I'm not gonna be able to do like 100% the temperature wise because I mean, I've had this toaster for I don't know how long and I don't know what temperatures it gets to or anything like that. So um, I do have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine settings on this toaster, my at home toaster and the Revolution has seven settings. So that's one comparison between the two, um, which is pretty much, and that's also including the barely, barely toasted, the lightest toast that you can possibly get versus the burnt. Um, with those including in those that has nine settings. Is that what I counted? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, it has nine. I have a little bit of a short attention span. I can't help it. <laughs> And then the Revolution has seven settings. Um, let's see what other comparisons it has. They both have, if you wanted to toast frozen items, if you have any frozen like waffles or pancakes, you can easily put them in either one of these toasters because there is a defrost setting on my regular toaster. There is also a frozen option on the Revolution. I will go ahead and show you guys the front screen as a reminder of what it looks like so you can see Pick out what kind of bread you're using. So you got waffles, bagels, bread. Um, let's see, English muffin. I hope you guys are able to see this because I'm having trouble seeing it. <laughs> so you got waffle, bread. You got pastry. So you know your pop tarts. And if I can recall correctly, yeah, that's all. Yeah, I think I went through all of them. So there are a couple of differences between the two. Um, so like I said, I can't 100% compare it each dot comparison because it's obviously not gonna be the same. But I am going to go for the middle option of toasting my bread with fre fresh bread at that is what it's showing. So I'm gonna do the halfway point on both of the toasters. So we're going to see first of all, which one takes longer to toast mm -hmm. and how well. So I'm going to put it on both of these. Neither one of these have, have been used, so they're both cold machines is what I'm referring to. Um, cold as in I haven't used them at all today. I can touch them without any problems, no heat at all. We're going to go ahead and start the toasters over again, hopefully at the same time. I feel so fancy with the Revolution, but it's probably because it cost three. $400, depending on which one you get, of course. Oh, wow, I already feel the heat. I'm not sure if it's because the fan's blowing <laughs> the heat towards me or what. I just want to start yelling, I'm melting. <laughs> um, but the Revolution does tell you one thing I really do like about this. It tells you about the status of where it's at as far as heating goes. I have no idea where it's setting at as far as my Hamilton Beach toaster. So as you saw, as you guys see me, this one may pop up a second or two. There may be like a second or two difference um, because I'm trying to obviously start them at the same time, but that may not be the case. So now it's browning. Hamilton, what do you, oh, there's no, no screen there. <laughs> but I am getting kind of warm. I'm hoping my power does not go out because, and I'm not in the kitchen area and neither one of these toasters are there and my power seems to be very sensitive, not sure why. <laughs> you guys, I had a, the Instapot that I reviewed, that blew my fuse. So that's part of the reason why I'm mentioning, I'm hoping that my power doesn't go out right now. All right, so the revolution is almost done. Where are you at, Hamilton? Oh, I'll see if there's that option. All right, Hamilton, again, where are you at? Well, um, Revolution's definitely quicker. <laughs> hmm. 
So I hope everybody's having a great day today. Oh, there it goes, finally. Okay. So this is comparing the toastedness of both of the toasters. Not too bad. It's funny how I can see the lines on my Revolution toaster, but I don't see any lines on my Hamilton. That's interesting. All right, I'm gonna put, go ahead and actually, you know what? I'm just gonna try them by itself first. Cause I know that adding any type, anything to it might, you know, soften the bread or whatever. So we're going to, both of them are very soft on the inside. Go ahead and test, taste these out. Soft, I like the crispiness, but yet it's still soft on the inside. Taste wise, do I have a difference? Not really. I know that one of the advertising, or I guess the key points of the Re Revolution toaster is that it's supposed to have it, you know, some of the best tasting toast and all this, I'm not sure how you're just browning it, but supposedly it's supposed to make things taste better and you still get that crunchiness, but that softness on the inside, which I'm not sure exactly how they control that. Do they put, I mean, do they slide something in between the middle of the bread so that way it just stays soft? I'm confused on that part. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna add jelly. To me. Hmm. All right. It looks like I put about the same amount. Hopefully I did. I'm just get a big old bite out of the middle. And again, see if there's any difference. Oh, that's my new. That's too jellified. All right. So this is the Hamilton versus the Revolution. Not bad. So as I mentioned, one of the key points of the revolution is that it you're supposed to have that nice toasted outside with a nice soft inside. The edge that I just bit off, it didn't even taste like it was that toasted, which was interesting. Outside of the speed, the main thing that I can tell the difference between is, is the speed. That's the main thing I can tell the difference on which one is worth buying. It's a little bit quicker, but what, five seconds was it? Because I know by the time it popped up, I still waited like a good five, six, five to ten seconds. We're talking seconds. Unless, I can't think of a reason why t ten seconds would make that big of a difference unless kids are running out the door <laughs> to catch their school bus. And those 10 seconds may make a difference, but I think I'd rather save my money and get the Hamilton Beach, even though I don't exactly know how much longer I have to wait. I've dealt with it this long. <laughs> Hamilton, can we get a updated? Oh, it's gonna cost that, Never mind. probably gonna cost about the same to get that digital screen on there. Um, overall, don't really see too much of a difference other than the fanciness of it and the price tag. But that's just my two sets. If you want me to try anything else out um, as far as comparing the two toasters, I'd be more than happy to. If you just want to say hi, I love hearing from you guys. And if you want to see more of me, you can also check my other YouTube channel, Jazzy Foods with a Z. In the meantime, stay tuned, stay jazzy. Thanks for watching, guys.